Hey, for Salem Family Ministries, this is Harry Salem, and today I want to talk to you about leadership. Uh, you know, in our ministry, my wife and I have been doing this for over 30 years, and we found out so many different things about uh, leadership in life, leadership in family, leadership in ministry, or leadership in business. You know, the core of it all is the same. And you know, they say in, in uh, real estate, it's location, location, location. Well, for the same thing in business or in your ministry or anything else, I say plan, plan, plan. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, he looked down and he made provision for his mother. He turned to one of his disciples and said, now this is your mother. So you have to plan in, in, in leadership. If I tell you what I know, it probably won't help you, but if I tell you what I've lived through or experienced, it might be able to help you. I had a number of years of background running a ministry and now running our own ministry and doing multiple different things in life. And I find out, you know, um, it, let's say that you're a church. Here's a great motto. I, I, I learned this from a, a wonderful pastor in Michigan. His name is Dave Williams. You know, your church should be easy to define, location, location, location. Hard to leave. That you're going to stick with something. You know, that's the thing I find today. So many people are jumping from job to job to job. You know, the average person that lives in a home is less than three years. And impossible for, to forget. So you need to leave something lasting. That would be generationally or impossible to forget, a nugget or something. So I hope you get a little nugget today. And here's one thing that I always say about business or leadership. Is don't create the beast if you don't want to feed the beast. A lot of people say bigger is always better. Is it really? You know, today in our economy and the world that we're living in, there's so many uh, uh, different aspects that we have to deal with, you know, liability insurance and, and you know, and, and maybe rent per square foot. You know, the, the thing of it is today, airlines don't even, you know, they try and oversell the, the seats in an airplane. Why? Because you don't make money on empty seats. So one of the things I tell you in leadership, don't overbuild just because someone else tell you bigger is better does that fit for what you're doing so in leadership you have to make sure that you have a vision you cash the vision and you stick with the vision don't let outside influences ever change your vision or your plan one of the other things i tell you is is this is that be god-led spiritually driven and not people pleasers god led let god lead you through this and you don't have to be people pleasers and be spirit driven Go to the Father and let the Father tell you what you're supposed to do. And as I said earlier, you know, we talk about sometimes in ministry or in, in business today, it's the bottom line. It's the bottom line. It's always about money. Well, I want to tell you something about leadership and possibly even in your own ministry. Um, this is what I say. When pennies become more important than people, pennies become more important than people. Now, if you take care of the people, God will take care of the pennies. So I want you to always be driven, if you're in the ministry, to take care of the people. Take care of your staff, take care of your, your you know, one of the things that I, I, I've learned is that you don't build a church staff, you build a church family. And you do that by communicating to other people and being around other people and letting them be part of a vision. And that's the other thing, Habakkuk 2, 2 says, write the vision, make it plain, engrave it. So that when people walk by, they can easily read it. What does that mean? Well, write a vision. You have to have a vision. How do you get a vision? Get on your face before God. That's the first thing. You have to have a vision. Because a vision without a plan is chaos. And a plan without a vision is delusion. So you get a plan and then you cast the vision. And the reason why in Habakkuk it says to engrave it, it says because you engrave it, you make it plain. If you've ever seen, gone to a, a cemetery and you've seen a marker or a headstone, they engrave it. You can't change it. Why? Because, yes, trials and tribulations do happen. But if you've made it plain and you engrave it, even though tough times happen, don't change the vision that God has given you. And then it says, make it easy so people pass by. And here's the thing that I'm going to wrap this up with. Make it easy. Have a mission statement. And make it short and sweet. My wife and I in our ministry is we go two by two to get families one by one. Well, that's very easy. You know, you can get that, you can hold on to it, and now you've cast a vision and people can understand it. So those are a few little leadership tips that I'll give you this week. And I'll pick up later on with some more. So from Harry and Cheryl Salem, Salem Family Ministries, we hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, do the little thumbs up on there. Go to our website, see if we're in an area near you, and come and visit us and visit our ministry. God bless you today.